when someone's overdosed uh, on, a, on an opiate, uh, they look dead for all intents and purposes. Uh, you pull up and they are often blue, not breathing or barely breathing. Um, and uh, you know, I think the layperson would be uh, very much in shock if they saw someone like that. And often the runs will come in as a person unresponsive or a person not breathing. And it usually, you know, we're able to identify pretty quickly if it's a possible opiate overdose. Usually we go right to Narcan administration. Um, you know, the first thing we're going to do is follow up BLS care, which is we're going to have someone breathing for them, usually with a bag mount, uh, valve mass device, and oxygen. Uh, and then we'll usually start an IV and administer the Narcan IV. It tends to be mostly young people, what we see, uh, 20s and 30s, usually. Uh, you don't see too many people that are very much younger than that. Uh, usually in the case of older people, sometimes those that are much older that are on, that abuse opiates, usually it's, uh, a lot of times it's medication mistakes. They take too much. I've, I'm fortunate that I work with a lot of good guys here at the station, and uh, you know, we just, we gel very well together, you know, so. And guys know what to do. They know that, hey, look, he's not breathing. It looks like it might be an opiate overdose. We do what we need to do. And fortunately, uh, if we didn't have Narcan, the situation would be far worse. Um, you know, like I said, most of these people are either barely breathing or not breathing at all. And the fact that you can turn it around so quickly uh, is, is good for them. <laughs> yeah, they can't kick it. They can't get off it. That's, uh, that's a common theme with the people who are known abusers. You can't get rid of it. That's how it is. They overdose once, they live. They overdose again, they live. You know, and you can roll the dice, but eventually you're going to lose.